Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a crucial topic membranous nephropathy. It's a major cause of nephrotic syndrome in adults and understanding it is key for any budding nephrologist. First, what is membranous nephropathy? It's a kidney disorder where the small blood vessels in your kidneys become inflamed and thickened. This thickening disrupts the kidney's filtering process, leading to protein leakage into the urine, a hallmark of nephrotic syndrome. You might be wondering, what causes this? In most cases, it's idiopathic, meaning we don't exactly know the trigger. However, secondary causes can include infections, autoimmune diseases, and even certain medications. Always keep these in mind when diagnosing patients. Now, let's talk about symptoms. Patients commonly present with edema, particularly around the eyes and ankles, due to the significant loss of protein in their urine. They may also have high cholesterol and in severe cases even blood clots. Diagnosis primarily involves a renal biopsy. Under the microscope you'll see thickened glomerular capillary walls, often with sub-epithelial immune deposits. Immunofluorescence can reveal granular IgG and C3 deposits, which are characteristic of membranous nephropathy. Next up, treatment. It can be a bit tricky since it often depends on the underlying cause and the severity. General measures include managing edema with diuretics, controlling blood pressure with ACE inhibitors or ARBs, and addressing any hyperlipidemia. For those with severe or persistent proteinuria, immunosuppressive therapy may be warranted. Options include corticosteroids and other agents like cyclophosphamide or rituximab. Always tailor the treatment plan to the individual patient. Let's not forget, membranous nephropathy can have a variable prognosis. Some patients may experience spontaneous remission, while others might progress to end-stage renal disease. Regular follow-up and monitoring are essential. Lastly, how do you keep up with the latest research? Stay engaged with medical journals, attend nephrology conferences and connect with peers. Continuous learning is vital. All right, that's a wrap on membranous nephropathy. Hit that subscribe button for more medical insights and leave your questions in the comments below. Keep learning and stay curious. Catch you in the next video.